What's up, everybody? This is the Asian Video Gamer coming to you with a different type of video. It's gonna be more editing, more stuff, more like shoot the shit type of video. Today, I'm gonna talk about like, like everything else on this channel, you know, Dark Souls. But I'm gonna talk about the people that play Dark Souls and uh, the people that are in this community compared to the uh, another community that I'm involved in the YouTube community. I started making videos two months ago. I was not part of this community in terms of making content, you know, providing any feedback, didn't comment, wasn't really taking an active part. All I did was watch. And the type of videos I watched were like the usual funny moments, some gaming stuff. But a lot of it were just like bullshit drama stuff that I find between YouTubers. Those videos are entertaining when you hear somebody talk about another person. And it's just so fun to listen to them. But I have some irking feeling for some of the stuff that these YouTubers say. I find it kind of coincidentally similar to the situation in Dark Soul too. So first of all, for those of you who don't know what Dark Souls is, is a game that a lot of people play this game because it's pretty mainstream. People like judge other people for what they use that is inside the game and how they PvP, how they use overpowered shit, broken stuff, the type of thing to win. There are those people that are addicted to winning. So when you start out, you start out with a basic sword and when you PvP you realize after your 10th defeat you realize you're underpowered and you need to buff yourself. When you find better items, you find spells, you respect your character to optimize for these things. Everybody does it, Every, well most people do it and guess what they win. They get a win and they get addicted to that win so they start finding more broken shit and find more things to exploit the game with and hence you get people that running around uh, in havels and spamming spells and a lot of th these people are called the havel mages appropriate word for appropriate style of playing. Now I'm not here to you know condemn them or you know say like those are pe the plague of the Dark Souls society because I don't think that's wrong. I mean, there are th th there's a reason why people want to play this game. And for those people, they want to win in PvP. You know, like even if you win like in, during those times, for me it gets boring. It's a good re stress reliever, but I can't keep playing it for hours on end. What really made me addicted to this game is learning how to how to be skillful with certain weapons. Like my favorite weapon right now is the uh, crafting hammer. And you'll see some of it in this video. Havel mages, uh, they're still pretty hard to beat if they really optimize themselves for it. You know, at the end of the day, if I get killed by one of the Havel mages, if I lose to one, it's not a big deal. So, after all that analogy about the Dark Souls community and uh, the Dark Souls Havel mages, what does this have to do with YouTube? Well, here's the gist of it. Top YouTubers compared to Havel mages. And Havel mages are basically whores. And I don't think there's a big problem with that. I don't think there is a problem at all with whoring yourself out in YouTube. And here's my reasoning. On YouTube, people that whore themselves out are successful usually. But do they have no talent at all? I don't think so. The fact that they can grab your attention, talk to you about gibberish, and still be able to successfully keep your attention that's a talent that I probably do not ever will have. But that's okay. 
I'm not here to uh, offend anybody. So uh, if I start, if you, if, if uh, main, if you see like uh, <laughs> some certain jokes on this video, please do not hate me. I'm just a nobody in this community. Um, so back to my point. Um, there's no problem with whoring yourself, and there's those people in the mid tier that get attention for calling these top YouTubers whores. Now these are the people in Dark Souls community. They're equivalent to the uh, the really really top tier guys with great skills. Will not run around with havels. Will not run with too many spells, but will dominate anyways because they're so good. And these people in Dark Souls community are complaining that Dark Souls 2 is broken. They're complaining that the game sucks and that they want to go back to Dark Souls 1. Well, here's my here's my response to that. Go back to Dark Souls 1. Go back to the crappy frame rates, the crappy graphics. Because I can't do it. Go ahead. Just go back. Go back to there. Go look at the video. Uh, go go look at the crappy graphics. Go play under the bad frame rate, and then come back to Dark Souls 2, because Dark Souls 1, for me, is unplayable. It's completely unplayable. I don't know how I dealt with it back then, but I can't go back to it. It's such a horrible, horrible, horrible game at this point. <laughs> well, it's not bad. It's just, it's it's just <laughs> when you see Dark Souls 2, it's so pretty. Dark Souls 1 is so not. And my stance on that, when you come back to the YouTube community thing, is that, you know, like, you have people that complain about the top YouTubers being whores, and then they themselves get attention because they call them out. So, I'm not going to say that they're hypocrites, because they're trying to make a point, and I'm here to make a point too. Like, you know what? If there's money to be made, if there's views to be gained, if there's people paying attention to you, why the hell do you want to stop? If you get that attention, why... Huh? Like, why? Why Why would you want to stop? Now, don't get me wrong, don't stop those whoring videos, please. Those videos are super entertaining for me, and I love, I love watching those, so... I'm not here to tell you to uh, stop. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, there's always two sides to the coin. And uh, for me, the main thing is there's nothing with whoring. There's nothing out. There's nothing wrong with whoring or what I call it, havel maging. And there's nothing wrong with calling people for being a havel mage. That's all I wanted to say in this video. There's going to be a part two. Maybe. But. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, I might get flamed. Like, I might get like hated on. And you know. Wow you suck Asian video gamer. I thought you were a different person. What the fuck is this bullshit. If you do put that down. Please 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 comment. It will be hilarious for me to read it. And I promise I will not ignore anyone. So anyways, subscribe and comment. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Toodles.